Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I'm going to do a, vi a voiceover for my pour. And I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas here. I've put down a base coat of a combination of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and Amsterdam, Amsterdam Grayish Blue. And I'm showing you the Amsterdam right there. And today I'm going to do a cloud mix pour over. My inspiration has come from Sarah Taylor, and I will put her in the description. And as you can see, I'm showing you the consistency of my paints. They are very thin. This type of pour uses very thin paints. It's like water. Sarah Taylor get, got her inspiration um, from Melly D and from Elise Fournier. So now you're seeing that I am laying my colors down here and I will list my colors and all the pouring mediums in the description. I can tell you that the base coat that I'm using there is a mixture of Floetrol, GAC 800, Liquitex pouring medium, and a little bit of satin enamel in that. The colors themselves, like I'm laying down now, are uh, one part paint, half part Floetrol, a squirt of Liquitex pouring medium, and then water to thin. And you want the consistency of all the paints you're using, your base coat and your paints you're laying down, all the same. Okay? So I can um, talk about what paints I'm using here today. I'm using Modern Masters Venetian Blue, Ameth Amethyst, Black Pearl, and Nickel. Porage Posse Paint, I am using Barn Red Shimmer. And that's that Barn Red right there. I'm laying it down. Part of this video today, I am going to fast forward because I do a lot of blowing out with a straw. And rather than have to have you watch all of that, I've, I'm going to fast forward to make this video a little shorter. There you can see I torched my paint to get the air bubbles out. I did mix my paint a couple of days ago though, so there I didn't really run into any problems with air bubbles. You do a lot of tipping also with this <clears throat> type of pour. You can see how fast my paints are running there because every, all the consistencies are, like I said, almost like water. And of all those colors, I really do like that barn red shimmer. Just a beautiful color. So again, Sarah Taylor got her inspiration from Melly D, who I understand was the pioneer in learning how to use the satin enamel in pores. Annalise Fournier, who I understand started with the milk paint. You can also get uh, really good effects if you use milk paint instead of the satin enamel. And again, I will have all the pouring medium descriptions and amounts in, uh, in the description box if you want to go and check that. Here I'm still doing a lot of tipping, taking a look at it. <clears throat> now there is another paint that goes on top and I also put it down to the sides of the paint that I just laid down and that is called the cloud mix. The colors I'm using today in my cloud mix, let's see if I listed those, I uh, mixed Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, and let me see here, pardon me, Satin House, no, excuse me, I use Satin House Paint, a touch of Satin Enamel, and then I did tint it with some acrylic paint. So it's equal parts Floetrol to the Satin House Paint, just a touch of the satin enamel, and then I did tint it with Modern Masters Cool Mint and Modern Masters Rose Quartz. 
And when I go to lay this cloud mix down, I will point it, point it out. <clears throat> right now, I'm just running my skewer through. Give the eye a little bit more to look at here. And here is one of those cloud mix. And I believe that that is the, um, the rose quartz. You can see I'm laying it on top here. And I do encourage you to go to Sarah Taylor, that's S-A-R-A -A, Taylor, her uh, channel, and check out her pores. They're just beautiful. And now I'm just taking the skewer and incorporating that cloud a little bit. And by doing some more tipping, I'm hoping to incorporate it also. <clears throat> the one thing that I was really impressed with when I was all done with this painting was that base coat that grayish blue from Amsterdam just really brought brought out the other colors rather than using just plain white I wanted to make sure that I tipped off enough paint here too. I didn't want to leave my paints too thick. And that's why you use that GAC 800 in your base coat. So that prevents uh, cracking and crazing. Here I decided I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that um, barn red shimmer because I just love that color. And I wanted it to show up a little bit more in this painting. So as you can see, I'm running my popsicle stick along our lines that are already down in most cases. Just give it a little bit more enhancement. And just breaking up some of those more plain areas there. Adding that red. This is new to me to use such thin paints, but I always like a challenge. So this is my challenge here to uh, get familiar with thinner paints. Now just taking my uh, palette knife again, drawing some new lines there. Just kind of smearing it a little bit, I guess, too in a couple of spots. And again, adding some more of that barn red shimmer. It's always fun to just play with your painting to get it exactly the way you want it. And as you can see, since I've started adding some more of that red, just how it's really enhanced this painting. Sometimes red likes to take over, but not in this case.
And here's the other color, uh, the other cloud mix that I mixed up. And again, that color was um, Master's Cool Mint. Master's, Modern Master's Cool Mint. And as you can see, as I said I would point it out, now I'm just taking that cool mint and running it along the sides of the paint. Because later on you're going to see me blow it out and blow it up on top of those other paints and then blow it out again. And what it does, it leaves a really pretty... Um, outer color like an outline color to the other paints very soft subtle colors both both the cool mint and the rose quartz and again those were modern masters paints and i will list them in the description now I'm fast forwarding here. As you can see, I'm starting to blow this out with the straw. I just felt I had a lot more control if I used a straw rather than the little leaf blower or the air compressor. As you can see, I'm trying to make flowers here. And just expand on some of those areas. Again, using my palette knife or my popsicle stick to add more colors. A lot, a lot of um, blowing with the straw here. Underneath, I knew I had some really pretty colors to bring out. So that's what I'm doing here. Adding a little more of the cloud mix there. Just incorporating it in. Looks like here I'm adding a little bit of uh, all my colors. <clears throat> the red and the blue, the purple, and a little bit of that, um, let me see. Black Pearl and Nickel. That Nickel is that brown color. Now a little bit more blow blowing there. And I am taking a look at it. Just turning it to, to uh, bring towards me where I want to blow it out. And now here comes the torch. Pop any air bubbles that are left. I'd like to take the time to thank everybody for watching. Thank all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so to help my channel grow. And I think that we are going to come down for a close-up now. <clears throat> And this is the upper left hand corner. You can just see the really beautiful effects that you get. Did get some cells there. You can see where I did a lot of that blow, blowing with the straw. That's the, the lower left hand corner. Now I'm going to take you up the middle. Beautiful in here. And there's where I did work on some flowers and some petals. And now I take you to the upper right hand corner here and just down the right hand side. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share it. 
ring the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.